Now we are going to take a look at few strumming patterns that you can use along with the chord progressions that you have learned so far. So far we've been doing all downstrokes. So the number was one, two, three, four. And now we are going to take upstrokes. I'll tell you what upstrokes are. So if the metronome is on, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you utilize the gap between the beats, those are up beats basically. And anyway, your hand is coming up between two down beats. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so these are the upstrokes we call it ands so these are in between the beats okay so one and two and three and four and and now you've got more options to create your own strumming pattern now you can see that we've got already one and two and three and four and so while taking up strokes you know what you do is actually you do the reverse of the downstroke exactly initially what happens you know the up strokes you know are not that clear because you're not used to it so down up down up keep your wrist steady okay i'm not doing anything else it's just the opposite of the downstroke I'm just retracing back the path. I'll give you one more angle on this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So these are the available beats right now. Let's apply this strumming pattern with the first chord progression we played. One and Let's take something interesting, you know, you won't have to use all the downstrokes and all the upstrokes. What you can do, you can form your own patterns. I'll be showing you at least five to six usable strumming patterns that you can use right now using this concept. So let's take a strumming pattern one, two, three and four. So whenever you are looking at a strumming pattern, you should be able to say the strumming pattern in rhythm it means i don't read it as whatever is written here is one two three and four 